Welcome back to the ASUG News Studio, brought to you by Optimal Solutions Integrated, Inc. I'm here with Cindy Hausen, and I'm thrilled to be joined with Cindy. She's one of the brightest minds in, in the BI analyst world right now. She is the creator of the BI Scorecard, which is a collection of blogs and research and uh, you know, consulting services based on hands-on research uh, with BI tools, all about BI tools. She's the author of several books around BI and um, just, just a really popular name in the space. Thank you for, for joining us today, Cindy. Thank you, Courtney, it's nice to be here. So I wanted to start out by asking you, you know, what, what are you excited about to, to check out here at, at SBOUC? Well, the best thing is you draw some of the best customers from different areas of the country and both SAP customers and longtime business objects customers. So for me, what's really important is not to just be talking to the vendor, because SAP, of course, tells me about their products, but also hearing what are the customers interested in, what are their challenges, what are they excited about, what are they confused about. So that's a great jumping off point for my next question. What are customers excited about here? What are you hearing? What are their challenges and, and you know what, what what's really resonating here? So I think some of what they're excited about is just there's a lot going on in the BI space. And um, there was one customer I had lunch with. She said it's nice because her users are getting reports that they never had before. Mm -hmm. So some of us have been in the space for a long time, 20, 20 years, and you kind of take for granted that there's still a lot of work to be, got, to be done, and some companies who are really just starting on their BI journey. That's such a great point. It really is, it seems like, you know, we've been talking about BI for so long, but now it just seems to be catching fire. Everybody wants these dashboards. I mean, everybody, and what do you think is really driving that? Is it the tablets and the mobile devices and? So you mentioned two things that I think are driving at tablets and dashboards, but I also think with the economic recession, there was a lot of pent up demand, budgets were frozen, um, really good people changed jobs, and a lot of knowledge was and excitement enthusiasm was lost. Some BI initiatives kind of floundered. Uh, sometimes when I read the headlines, I think we're not totally out of this recession, yeah. but I do think in the BI space, spending is definitely up. So, so there's been pent up demand. So there's a lot going on there. And then dashboards, we did see from our latest survey, dashboards a few years ago, it was largely custom developed solutions. Not many customers had dashboards. And now that's really tied with the number two spot in terms of the most successfully deployed BI module. Wow, so now what's the number one spot? Um, the ad hoc query, or what I okay. like to call is business query, because it's business users authoring their own reports. Okay, great. And how, so those are the big trends in the industry. Are you hearing the same thing amongst SAP customers? Are we pretty much, in, are they pretty much in line with Definitely. I mean, they're looking at dashboards. I think with the SAP Business Objects customers, there's also what's new in 4.0, um, because that was a long ramp up, and wanting to figure out now, should they wait and upgrade to 4.0? Should they just stay on 3.1? Or there's been talk about 4.1 or feature right. pack. Uh, what should they be doing there? That seems to be a big question going in here. You know, 4.0, 4.1, is 4.1 really just a feature pack? What, you know, what's going on there? Is that what you Yeah, sort of so a lot in? of questions about that. Yeah. So just to sum up here, you know, um, what, you did a survey um, and just completed it with ASEG's help, big help from Tammy Paulus, we'll give her a shout out. Um, yeah. and, and you found that, one of the interesting things you found that was ASEG members tend to be happier with the SAP website and support resources when they're business objects customers than non-ASUG members. Right, so, so thank you to ASUG for promoting the survey. It's something that we've done three times now, originally as part of research for one of my books, Successful BI, and it does look at success factors mm -hmm. and failures, obstacles to success, and we started looking at it now by vendor. So we did want to look at what was the BI impact and success rate among SAP customers. Now because ASUG promoted it 
separately from like BI scorecard or information week, we could isolate those survey responses. And we saw a higher degree of satisfaction with the online resources, the knowledge bases from ASUG customers. So what I can't tell you, are they saying they're happy with the ASUG content or the SAP content? Right. I can only tell you that they are more satisfied. Yes. And Steve Lucas brought that up in his keynote this morning too. He said, you know, ASUG members are, are just much more, more likely to be more engaged with the business objects tool set and to just really know what's going on, so. Well, I don't know, are they more engaged? So yeah. one of the questions that I will be asking here is I talk to all sorts of business objects customers and ASUG is still somewhat a new community right. to the longtime business objects customers and I think there are concerns is ASUG really just for the SAP, BW, and ERP customers, or is it also for the non, for traditional business objects right. customers? And is it also for the small to medium sized businesses? Because historically that was not ASUG's focus. So, so those are questions that I think everyone is trying to figure out. Um, I, I understand that Bridget, the CEO, mentioned that the membership for business objects customers right. continues to be free for another year. So to me, that's a really good thing and why not try it out as a community? Um, for sure, it's a strong voice to SAP, so. Those are excellent points, Cindy, as always. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And next up, my colleague Tom will be interviewing Timo Elliott. It's one you don't want to miss, stay tuned. All right, so. Good job.